I'd say a lot of people, the majority of people, didn't know I was suffering. I think it's really easy to hide the suffering um, because you isolate. One who has depression tends to isolate. I was diagnosed with anxiety, generalized anxiety disorder and depression in college at Stanford when I was a sophomore. And I didn't really think much about it. I just took Prozac and didn't really want anyone to know because I didn't want it to be a handicap or considered you know, abnormal that I dealt with depression and anxiety. And then when I was 37, 38, I had a massive endocrine issue and I uh, ended up very, very sick. I didn't want to ski, I didn't want to hang out with my friends, I didn't want to socialize, I wasn't sleeping. And I really started to lose touch with reality because I was so exhausted. And then I, um, I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't want to live anymore because I was so miserable. I hadn't slept in a year and I felt crazy. I felt completely crazy. I um, was in the car with my mom and I just, something just switched in my brain and I just was crying and I just said, I can't go on anymore. And I opened the car door and I tried to throw myself out on I-70 at full speed. And thankfully my mother knew that it was really bad at that time and she turned me around and she took me to Bell Health and she put me on a 72 hour suicide hold. And that's what saved my life. Believe it or not, I was relieved because I think it finally made me realize that I was gonna get help. And I, I finally could give up taking care of myself and hiding it, and I could finally give in to the fact that I needed to get help, and I needed to go somewhere. I could breathe, I could breathe. I was really excited to get out of treatment and to start my life anew. I felt a sense of, um, wonderment and excitement to face the world with with the understanding of what my brain really was dealing with it wasn't my fault it was my chemistry it's a disease and i can live with it i didn't talk about it for about five years because i didn't know how to describe how low i'd gotten i think the stigma needs to be broken and i think we all need to speak out and I think those of us that have a mental health issue need to realize that it's actually a gift. It makes us more empathic, it makes us more compassionate, and it certainly makes us feel the world in a different way. Mental health for me is a daily practice. It's not something that just goes away. I can't just take my medication and assume that I'm gonna be okay. I really have to work at it. Um, and that requires physical fitness is important, but it really involves a lot of mindfulness, uh, meditation, hiking in nature and slowing down and taking time to just really be mindful in, in what I do. It's okay to have moments where you really struggle. It's part of being human. It's the human experience. We're in this together and it's ups and downs and the downs and the dark times make the light and the good times better. When I had that moment where I almost, I almost killed myself and I ended up in treatment, I, um, I knew I had to survive because I knew there was a reason and I knew there was a cause in my life that was worth fighting for. And there was a moment where I was journaling in treatment and I said to myself, this is my life's work. This is why I'm here on earth, is to help destigmatize mental health and to help people get help when they need it. And if I can save one life, then I've done my job. If I can save 100 lives, well then we're winning. I always thought of myself as just, I guess an overachiever, and now I really realize I am a survivor. Um, because I've had many chances to exit this world, and I haven't taken them. Although I did try, I survived, and I meant to be here on Earth because I have a, a lot to do. I have a lot to do.